Breaking news, Charles Manson, the infamous cult leader who led a string of murders in the 1960s, is dead. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with the latest details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you, Robin. He was sentenced to death 46 years ago. But just months after that sentence, California Supreme Court declared the death penalty unconstitutional, prolonging the life of one of the most reviled men in American pop culture. And overnight, at 83 years old, Charles Manson died of natural causes. The wild-eyed, swastika-scarred madman who led a family of killers bent on starting a world-changing race war, inspired by the Beatles song Helter Skelter, Look out, Skelter, died at age 83 in a Bakersfield hospital. Is Charlie Manson crazy? Or whatever that means, sure, he's crazy as mad as a hatter. Charles Manson, the evil mastermind behind the 1969 murder spree that took the lives of seven people. The pregnant actress Sharon Tate was the most prominent of the murdered, a rising Hollywood star from the movie Valley of the Dolls. Hello? Also killed, wealthy supermarket owners Lino and Rosemary LaBianca. Manson never admitted to ordering the killings, and in this interview with Diane Sawyer, put the blame on his band of followers. I never told anybody to do anything other than what they wanted to do. And if they wanted to do murder, that was okay with you? That was none of my business, woman. I'm a convict. I'm an outlaw. I'm a rebel. I'm not a Sunday school teacher. Manson's 1970 murder trial was a circus. He called himself Jesus Christ and was convicted of murder, along with four of his followers. He was once called the most dangerous man in America. We reconvened the panel hearing on Charles Manson. Manson spent 46 years behind bars and was denied parole 12 times. His influence from prison, no less dangerous. His still adoring followers carried out crimes in his name long after his conviction, including the attempted assassination of President Gerald Ford. Five Manson family members remain behind bars. He leaves behind a legacy of depraved murder. If you're gonna do something, leave something witchy. Just like I would tell you, if you're gonna do something, do it well and leave something witchy. Leave a sign to let the world know that you were there. The LADA's association released a statement saying Manson's victims are the ones who should be remembered and mourned on the occasion of his death. And the sister of Manson victim Sharon Tate told ABC News people are saying that this should be some kind of relief, but oddly enough, it really isn't. She went on to say that she prays for Manson's soul. Really? Okay.